I really can't believe how good traffic is this week. <clears throat> well, it is spring break. And again, it takes me back to what do these parents do? <laughs> I mean, that they can take off for a week. Are they, you know, I know we live They're in doctors a, and lawyers and doctors such. Doctors and lawyers and such. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, left here at 515 yesterday. Uh, and I was, was going home. to look about Texas. Waylon and Willie and the boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Doctors and lawyers yeah. and such. And yeah. such. They ain't feeling no pain. I, I, I was no home. Pain. I was home within 20, 20 minutes. Wedgwood was empty. That's, a, that's good. I thought it was the apocalypse. Eight minutes for yeah. me, pal. <laughs> what is Eight the minutes. apocalypse? Eight minutes. The apocalypse, you know. Armageddon. Yeah. The apocalypse. Is that like the Cajun pronunciation? Yeah. It's just something you catch. They're cool out of cool, 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 Cajun. I do, I do like You make gumbo. I do. Yeah. Will you make me some gumbo? Sure. Do you make a roux? I do. And then, the roux? I do. And you can do a fatty cake for the déjeuner. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mail this. <laughs> Don't just do it. For, for anyone who doesn't know, <laughs> Philip Lammons is a man of many talents, including a sh- being like a chef, yeah. a cooker extraordinaire. Yeah. This is my daughter. She always says, Dad, you're a great cooker. <laughs> that's good, though. Yeah. I mean, that's, she's actually, that's a better thing to say, I would mm. think. What does she call your wife? Mommy. No. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to Twang Town. <laughs> Hello. How are y'all doing out there? I am David Tolliver. And I am Colt Mursky. Tall Brewski. Today, like aforementioned, we have with us Philip Lammons. Today. Yay. Doesn't Woo. seem so far away. Yeah. Today. I'm glad y'all caught me on my schedule these days. Shit. <laughs> yeah, you're a hard really... person to nail down, man. Yeah. yeah. We've been yeah. planning this for like nine months. Well, the whole Andy Griffith thing, I've got like three more episodes and then... <laughs> It'll be done. Yeah. Are you doing the black and white ones? No, he's in the colored. Oh, there's black and white. <laughs> I didn't know. That. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I need did that come out wrong? <clears throat> I'm in it in a very nice way. In a, in a very Mayberry way. Can you gonna do the, you yeah. got the buttons now? Can we? She haw. Yeah. I need more. <laughs> oh, you've got that. <laughs> we have one sound yeah. effect. <laughs> One. <laughs> we got the rim shot, baby. Yeah. I love the rim shot. We just shot. broke it out last yeah. podcast. No. Yeah. God, uh, keep that thing close. Mm, you, ready. you are. You're one of the most interesting people I've ever met in my life. To whom? You. <laughs> to David, at least. Yeah. <laughs> and me. Oh, well. <clears throat> to my. That's kind, I think. I, mean, I read at a sophomore level. Um, What's I your favorite color? But I can't spell Duck sophomore. Cook. <laughs> sophomore. Yes, the I worst learned how to word. spell Wednesday this this year. Did you? Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. Wednesday. I still can't spell business or believe. Can you spell February? February. Yeah, I'm born in that month, so I'm pretty good. You that yeah, you stuck with that one. Yeah. So you 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 are an amazing chef. Wow. Uh, Cooker. Cooker. French, are you are you French trained? No, I'm not. Well, you know what? Take that back. I did have uh, See, a I, stint in a French restaurant yeah, in Charleston. That, I knew um, you did that. Uh, Les Midi. Les Midi. Les Midi. Which means the panty. Uh, I don't have any idea. No. It was um, the donkey. It's I French for whale's this, vagina. I just know this guy. I used to uh, carry pastries for a bakery around town. <clears throat> I'd go early in the mornings before I'd go to whatever class I was going to. And uh, I'd just deliver pastries. And this one of these guys that was one of the pastry chefs in there, he decides he's going to be a big chef. And he opens up a place on King Street. And This is in South Carolina? Yeah, in Charleston. 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 Yeah. And I was in college. And uh, <clears throat> he was a great cook. And, and when he got it going, you know, he got arrested a couple times because he would have, you didn't have a liquor license yeah. or any yeah. of this stuff. So we, we got him off the ground. And he would... Get in there one day. We got busy, and uh, and I had like interviewed all these people to work for him and stuff. And he, uh, we got busy, and he said, "Grab this apron," you know how he ever would say that. And he handed it to me, and I was next thing I knew, I'm cooking. <laughs> Grab the apron. <laughs> Good. Grab the German. apron. It's like rabbit. Yeah, yeah. Why, you can't go German. <laughs> well, the French and Germans did not. You got You got to almost vomit when you yeah. d- do the French thing. I think. <laughs> it's in the back of your throat like a loogie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I'm going to France, man. We're going. Are to you? Like, yeah, when? Like two months. It's Where not are you in going? your calendar. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> you are such a calendar Nazi. I have Back to, to the be. Germans. <clears throat> it is. It should be in June. 
Um, where are you where are you going? How long are you going for? We're going to. Oh look, there it isn't. There it isn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to Nice. I heard it's nice there. And boy, I don't know the whole damn place we're going to. I just know that there's a bunch of wine. There you go. There's a bunch of wine. And we're going to drink all that wine. I heard they've great, got great Napa wine in France. It's grape. It's yeah. my favorite flavor. Grape. It's grape. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the only kind of wine I like. Oh, God. I'm going to wear it I, I mean, <laughs> I it's, love that thing, man. I do, too. It's, you need to get a horn, like a clown horn. Yeah. I'm just thinking out loud. Cowboy, cowbell? You got a cowbell? Well, we got this. Yeah. So, so is that rain tells, or is we that really clap? We have two. That's applause. Okay. I almost went to sleep. I thought it was my sound machine. <laughs> it's amazing. David, yeah. wake up. Yeah. Yeah. So you were born in South Carolina. Were you born in North No, Georgetown? I was born in North Carolina. You were born in North Carolina. That's right. We talked about that yeah. on the way down. Does that hurt your soul to say that? Or are you fine uh, with it? It doesn't hurt. It's it's just a little embarrassing. Yeah, just Well, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how old were you when you moved to South Carolina? I, was, I thought you could say, how old were you when you were born? <laughs> well, it started off at zero. <laughs> Where were you? How old were you when you were born? Uh, yeah, I, I think I moved to South Carolina when I was about uh, five. Five. Oh, okay. oh so you spent you spent a, 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 some remembering years in Carolina, which it was right on the border, right? Weren't well, you, it's, you right, well it's right there near Asheville. Yeah, yeah. Rutherfordton in that area. And, Table Rock and all these cool places yeah. around, yeah. And then where where did you where did your family move to in South Carolina first? Greenville was first. Greenville, yeah, yeah. And we were like a, a year in Charlotte, and and then to back to Greenville. Yeah. And my parents picked fruit. I think it's what I think it's what happened. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Really? No, not to not not. Don't want to joke about that, but no, they they I did do. pick fruit, but I thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, we did that, and I went to high school. I went to high school at. Um, I'm trying to extend my vowels like you do on this by the high school, high school. I went to high school. I went high to high school. school. I don't do that. I can't do that no, shit. You. So uh, I'm in Greenville, and I went to uh, three different high schools. And was it because you got kicked out, or no, no, it uh-huh. wasn't. My dad was. He bought a farm. Not the, but a farm. Uh-huh. He since bought the farm, but um, he uh, he was building a house on the farm. We rented a house and then another house while that was going on. And each one of those was in a different school district. But I will, I'll tell you this. I recommend it. You, yeah. I, just, I totally recommend it. You, you go, got a lot of culture, huh? Well, is that and all the new – it's the new kid in town every every year. Yeah. And so you're the fresh new thing. Yeah, and it's it's a thing. Yeah, I mean not that I mean it was that nothing really mattered. It didn't happen to me. The girls didn't jump all over me or anything. But I just thought they would. Yeah, just, <laughs> like, this might be, this might be the school. Finally, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, stuck in it. In it. So, so that, yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, South Carolina. I like then down to Charleston, Green, Green, Greenville. Greenville. Yeah, yeah. We did a uh, we did a. Uh, that songwriter thing for the uh, governor's school for the arts down there. You brought me down too. We did, yeah. yeah. And that's the that's the first time I think I'd ever, ever been to Green Bull. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a cool town. It's a really cool town. It's played really in a, good. Was it a cigar factory? It is the cigar factory. <gasps> yeah, it was a really cool building. Have fun with it. I'd love to do that again sometime. Well, whenever, you, know, have, you know, they have, they haven't uh, used hadn't called me in a long time. Well, that's, they're wrong. Yeah, I think they are. I think they get a new like uh, person to do the heading up all that stuff. And well, I don't know why. And I'm not on their list. I'm okay with it. That's I'm okay ridiculous. With it. I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm not. But it's okay because you you got a cool new venture that you're working on now. <clears throat> Absolutely. Yeah, I'd love to do that too. Why don't you tell us about that? No. Which one? The Bahamian. Oh yeah, the the Bahamas thing, man. That's a that just fell in my lap um yaman yeah we we had a little yaman yeah yaman, Wrong island. yaman. i can't talk like that <laughs> but i would i would if i could if y'all <laughs> yeah, would do that i'd go right with i don't you. think i'd take you serious but i'd you go could right with you on that yeah but anyway yeah so i started uh you know we had a little place in the bahamas for a long time and and our kids kind of grew up messing around down there and the the town had a, a festival that was, I thought it was great, but they had a falling out. And next thing I know, I get a phone call. Will you come host our 
festival and it was a rum festival. And I said, well, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in on Jack, that. That's Jack Sparrow. Over perfect. Here, you know, yeah. and so uh, this is our second year and it's a huge success. And um, until I found out they're not charging anybody to come. And then I said, well, no wonder it's a damn big. <laughs> it's <free. laughs> but it's in, it's in Hope Town in the Bahamas in the Abacos, which is one of the coolest places in the world. And no. Yeah, love it. I'd love to come down there sometime and see that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> what time is it? Yeah. Wow, this yeah. is the fastest podcast <laughs> in the history of That's podcasts. <laughs> so he's you, just serious. You grew up. You grew up. You grew up playing music. I'm assuming you. Yeah, I mean, uh, I grew up under my aunt Wanda's spin at piano. Yeah, and she taught me how to you know play this note on that guitar you know yeah. and i was laying on my back and little tiny thing she and she she probably did as much for anything my dad always took credit for um for that for it though people would ask him did you uh did you teach him how to play guitar and he said oh hell yeah that was that was me and then um he said how'd you do it he said well well, I just put it on the damn bed and told him not to touch it. <laughs> I just thought it was. That's and, it. And it's kind of like that, really. Yeah. yeah. And, um, tell the kids not to do something. It's the first thing they're going to do. They're jumping in, but yeah. tell me not to do it. And I want to do it. That's why. Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever grow up. Well, I have. Uh, yeah. I don't know when that happens, honestly. <laughs> I love that shirt, by the way. I don't know. Uh, Hell for certain. Yeah, I had I had to. Uh, it's I can only pick and choose when I can wear these because I will wear them way too much and forget that I wore them. So I wear the same thing three days in a row. You know, I don't oh, yeah. ever, I don't buy either. I call it whiff. I didn't know. Yeah. I'm unsure what that was. <laughs> I, I love my musk. I'm thinking b- baloney. <laughs> <laughs> Not even fried. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> the baloney pony no, Tolliver. Baloney Tolliver. That's yeah. right. Here he That's comes. Right. Like, smell him. No. Okay, so you you were born in North Carolina. Yeah, we're close. I just wanted to say that we have real really close friends. So this is yeah, got some treacherous holes in it. Yeah, we yeah, there's a lot of landmines. We've, we've yeah. shared a lot of tomfoolery. Yes, we have, and I've been friends for a long time. Planned, now. I've got a lot more planned ahead of us. There's no, there's nobody I'd rather do stuff with, honestly. Well, I mean, well. you you're stuck with that because I'm going to hang. Did you play around uh, Greenville? Did I play you around play, Greenville? You, you, you know, I never me. did, man. I didn't until I didn't really start playing out until I was like nineteen or twenty, and was in college yeah, at College of Charleston. College of Charleston, nice. and we and I, you know, when I was out of school, right after that, um, my roommate, who was the bass player in a band that that was starting up called the Blue Dogs, <laughs> kind of called me into that, and and. We just became a thing. Yeah. And then then we started traveling. We started going to Greenville, and we were in, you know, really probably as far as pretty regularly, we were kind of old Miss yeah. in the in, up into Virginia. So that, that kind of college circuit. It's that college circuit yeah. where, you know, a lot of trust funds and a lot of, you know. A lot know, of the haircut. That haircut. They had the haircut. That haircut. And so, the bankroll. Crokies. Yeah. Crokies, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's the guy. The croaky connection. Croaky. Yeah. I like that thought. Yeah. The croaky connection. Yeah. But anyway, it was fun. <laughs> and, and we had anywho. <laughs> so, back to me. Back yeah, to back me. to me. Yeah. yeah. Is this about me or y'all? I'm sorry. I don't know. We're not sure. T V D. Yeah. I, it, it won't well, start with you. I'll, I'll just start. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm going to start over. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Twain Town. <laughs> so you were born in South Carolina. I was. North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was, very, I was small. The Blue Dogs. I remember. I remember seeing. I'm seeing stuff for that somewhere. I cannot remember where it is. But you guys had a pretty big like following down there, yeah. Well, we did do. Yeah, I mean Charleston was clearly the home base, you know. and Charlotte was big, and Charlottesville got that way, and and you know I think the Hootie thing is what really kind of made us matter. Who's that? Hootai, Hootai, and the Blowfish. Anyway, they they were uh, they were really starting to crank up about ninety four or five, mm-hmm. and we were in the middle of all that. Yeah, and so we had a leg up that most didn't. And it's kind of the Seattle thing, you know. They so were, was it like y'all were playing a lot of the same shows, or yeah. were y'all homies? And you're like, hey, let's play shows together. How did that come? Kind about? of all of that. Um, 
you know, we all were living in between uh, Columbia and Charleston, mm -hmm. and we were all kind of the same ilk. And I mean, I it, for everybody that that knows Hootie and the Blowfish, you know, we were kind of in the wings all the time. You know, yeah. like they might give us a call, can you do this opener for us? Can you do this, that, and the other? And and, and they would drop us a you know bomb all the time. Anytime we needed something. You know, they you, can you get us this gig? Sure. You know, they make the phone call and make it happen. No, oh, yeah. and we didn't embarrass them much, but <laughs> but it's still a great band. It's still great guys, and we're really close friends. Yeah. All of us. It, it, Edwin was the same way with with the whole thing too. Was he? He was a little later, but he, <clears throat> well, you know, yeah, Edwin was a little later, and and I think we were as important to Edwin. Uh, because Edwin McCain, McCain, yes. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Edwin McCain. He, I'll he, uh, be. yeah, yeah. We'll all be if we could sing well, like that. I'll be buying more stuff if I wrote that yeah, song. Yeah, <laughs> be doing a lot. But Edwin uh, was opening for us a lot. Really? Yeah, and man, he was just just different kid, and he was <laughs> and buddy when he opened that mouth and just oh, all that smoke came out and yeah. just it's stanky. Yes, uncontrollable. Yeah. And um, he he's just still one of the coolest, most just laid back, absolute drop dead kind son of a guns I've ever met in my life. I was I was drive I I'd been on Demumbrian. Been at I think the ten roof. This is years ago, probably I don't know, ten, twelve years ago or something like that. Yeah. I was done. I was like, well, I'm going to go home now. So I start driving home, and Philip calls me. He goes, hey, where you at? I'm like, I'm driving home. He goes, come back here. <laughs> yeah, why? I remember this. I'm like, why? He goes, Edwin's with me. I was like, what? No, you're just screwing me. You just want me to come back. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, he's like, no, man, come back. So I came back, and I, I was just a, still am a huge Edwin McCain God, his all records are. his writing his singing <clears throat> the way he even strums a guitar is just different it's different it's, and, and it's, it's his it's, own genre it's a thing but Philip I walk in and it's Philip and Edwin stand there and I, I just fanboyed out all over him <laughs> yeah. such a big fan which now we've become friends yeah. and you know it, it, but I he's want crazy to thank about you, you for introducing yeah, he's crazy him. about you oh dude I love that guy uh, and and I, I mean, I think that's the whole. Frankly, I think it's South Carolina in a bag. Yeah. And it, 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 that, you know, there's so many connections and so many people that are tied together that you just never knew was going to be the case. Yeah. Until you need them. Yeah. And that's Edwin's one of them. You know, Edwin has really just helped me a lot. Of, you know. Yeah, a lot of ways. Hell, he's cut three of my songs <laughs> in the last month. I know. That Edwin doesn't suck. McCain. I know. Jesus, whatever. It's baffling. It's, it's baffling it's to baffling. me. It's baffling. For sure. It's baffling to me why you had not cut my songs. I know mm. why. Mm. Yeah, why is that? They're just not that good. Oh. I resigned myself to, to that. It's, this Kentucky thing is what it is, man. <laughs> yeah, there is no there is no musical talent. Yeah, Kentucky, Carolina plays Kentucky sure. every year, and y'all really kind of knocked them around. <laughs> well, we you see what you did. We're, we're pretty good at what we do. Yeah, well, you might yeah. want to you might want to tone that down a little yeah, bit. I'll beat it. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> so, Blue Dogs, yeah, Hootie, yeah, yep. um, Edwin, yeah. You did that for a while. Um, you kept writing. What else were you doing at that time hmm. besides learning falconry? Yeah, well, well you're a falconer. Yeah, Philip right? trains falcons, and he's well, a fishing boat captain. Right. When I asked uh, you, real first, estate I, mogul, I asked you to, to explain how I was like, how in the hell do you even catch a falcon? Oh, yeah. And oh you, yeah, that's a great story. And you, you told me this, and at the end, you were so matter of fact, like it was so easy to do <laughs> that I kind of wanted to go out. And do it. He's like, well, you just got this thing. You put some meat in the middle of it, and it. Sits on that line, it comes down, it grabs that meat, and it gets tangled up, and you hold it, and you put a hood on its head and light a candle. And that's basically what you Salt said to me. Tail. No. <laughs> that's basically how you said. And I, 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 was, I was like, what? You haven't tried it yet? I, I tried it, but I'm starting small with Robins. Ah, yeah, well, well. Yeah, they... It's not going to be the same. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a master. They don't, they don't, they don't I'm a eat a lot of meat, do they? Yeah, well, it's just, yeah, they, just, yeah. they, they can't pick shit up. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so um, 
So, okay, Blue Dogs, literally, <laughs> college, college was Words. a blur. Was a blur. Yeah. It's a blur. What'd you study in college? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just never. I didn't. Just paid to hang out. Yeah, I just. I didn't know you out. had to go to class. Well, that was. Oh, y'all are serious? Like you, you, you would think to show up if to you're. This? Well, you're thinking you're paying somebody that you. They, they all just give you. you. They, they all just come wake you up. Yeah, they just <laughs> give you stuff. Where's my butler, man? Yeah, I give this? you this money. You give me a degree, and we're done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's like that. Yeah. Even Stevens. But uh, so that's that, and uh, the Blue Dogs started, and but while I was selling boats and taking people fishing that's yeah. when that started when I, I would have been 86 four five six and uh the band started in 89 but i was you know working for a couple of boat different boat companies and i was anything from delivering to selling to you know and taking people fishing yeah and that had its thing and it's it's kind of like you know I would say this, music, songwriting is the only business that I would say you can actually love and look forward to going to every day. Yeah. Fishing's not. <laughs> no? No, because typically, if we're writing with someone, it's probably somebody that's got some wheels and they can stay in the game. <laughs> oh, oh, I get where you're going. But then you start. Oh, but if you're having to fish for every someone trip, else. Somebody's yeah. got football cleats on when he steps on the boat. Yeah. And he, you know, he's got his finger up his nose. And, and, and it's just a long, long, long I can't day. imagine the amount of hooks you pull out of people. And the ears. Out of yeah. me. Oh. Out of me. Yeah. Is, yeah. You got one right ear and got, I had plenty of earrings. <laughs> <laughs> made on board Dude. so i mean I, and i wasn't doing it for really i was like sitting in for guys you know some of these guys we had guides everywhere and i would you know had a, had the credentials so i could t- take up when somebody else yeah. was, would sign off because i didn't do it like a lot of them do it but then i did offshore fish which was i, I get it but it's a lot of it's a lot of testosterone and a lot of money <laughs> Mm. And a lot of cleaning up after somebody. Uh, I bet. Yeah. So all of that's hopefully character building, and but I enjoyed it. But no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. But now I like to go back and, and fly fish. You know, if, if it's got a fly, if I can see the fish and I can throw it a fly to it, I'm going to do that. You know, Colt and I are like master fly fishermen now. I yeah. would have expected that. Yeah, yeah we, we can, went one time and now we are professionals. Yeah, we can mend. No, oh, yeah, like of nobody's you can. business. There's a yeah. lot of good words in that yeah. sport. If mm-hmm. I have somebody to tie my flies for me and put me in the hole mm-hmm. and yeah. tell me where to put the fly and how to do it, you gotta hold your mouth I, right and and when to set the hook. I can I can fish real well yeah. with a fly yeah. rod. Well, there you go. Then that's yeah. then you you're poor, enjoying poor, the sport. Poor Jack and Will. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, Will won't respond. He's 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 so um, he's busy. Yeah, he's very busy. Jack, yeah. but Jack listens to the podcast. Hey Jack. Hey Jack. We miss you. Grumpy little man. Hey here. Will. Well. Yeah. Hey, Jack and We Will. should do that. We should go back to Montana. <clears throat> I'm in. Yeah. We're going to do it. I've been up there to his place. I've said it multiple times. That's the most zen experience of my life right there. It's just. Dude, we should go to, uh, to North Carolina. We go okay. and do a little thing with eggs. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's got, I'll, a, I'll do that he's got too. a spot. I'd love that. He's yeah. got a spot. So we'll, we'll, we will definitely do that. What'd you do? Time. What'd you do after you fished? For, to well, I. Fishing? So. I left the band is what I did. Why? Well, my son was like four, three or four. And Blame I'm, it on the kids. Blah, yeah, blah, yeah blah, right, blah. right. Thanks, Coop. Yeah. Yeah, and he uh, he was more fun than they were. <laughs> 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 but anyway, so I, I just, I decided it was time to get off the road and do this thing. And um, so I had to find a job that wasn't playing music and um I sat at a. I had a real estate company. Basically, they were building a big beach community, and uh, these guys that weren't really real estate guys. They were. I mean, they were builders as much as anything. They said, "You sit here and sell these things, and we'll make them." So I got my license sitting at the only desk I've ever sat at, <laughs> and did it, and was there, and I ended up buying them out 
because I mean they were leaving. I mean, I, it, it, the dumbest thing I ever did was buy them out because I could have just had it. Yeah, gotcha. And um, anyway, it was a good thing for twenty years, and yeah. um, and then I got tired of it. Yeah. yeah. So you have been a chef. If you're, if you're checking boxes at home, Fal- yeah. falconer. 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 I still am one of those. Still a falconer. Yeah. You're still a chef and a falconer. It's like mm-hmm. being a Christian. <laughs> yeah. You never it's get like out of it. It's yeah. like luggage. You never you get rid well, of you it. Can't, you can't lose. You've sold boats and, and tour guided people with fishing poles. Mm-hmm. And you have done real estate. And you write songs. I do write songs. Now, what was the first song you wrote that was like, oh. Somebody took, or you, you did, or it's like this. I could do this. This is it. Okay, the the song that probably did it for me. Well, one love is the first one that shows up on anybody's map, yeah. which is Hootie and the Blowfish. But I wrote a song called "Hope She Falls in Love," and I know two of the Hootie guys members played had that song played at their wedding. Really, and it's never been cut. It was cut by the Blue Dogs. Yeah, and um. But it's never been cut by a major artist or anything. But that's probably the song that I would say. If you ask my wife, kind of like we were on whatever, yeah, Hollywood Squares or whatever. <laughs> if you ask my wife, she would say, "Hope she falls in love." Yeah, that's the one that she says is written about her. And I'm, I'm not. And sure. you agree? Oh, I totally agree. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. Well, she, she, she knows that uh, most of them are written about her. It's just hard to say how much weight she goes, goes she, towards it. I didn't know where you were going with that. Yeah, that was getting dicey. I, I was did waiting. I do that wrong? No. We, well, women and weight, it's not a good yeah. combo, man. Oh, w- give, w- me the, w- give me something. I, I need a... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you did it. Thank you so much. Yeah. I can't believe we got sound effects. <laughs> so it's, weird. it's the last thing I need. just like that. Yeah. So weird. I love it. I met you when you were coming up here. You were still living in Georgetown. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and you I were. I was driving up here. You were driving, yeah. Um, and I'd stay at Paul Kraft's house and Sean Camp's house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I remember that well. And I miss it sometimes, you know. It's, you miss the drive? I don't miss the drive, no, but I, I just miss that. Um, yeah, you know, the row was different then. Yeah. It was different then. And that wasn't but what? Oh, 20 years ago. About 20 years ago. Yeah. 22, 3, 4, or something. Yeah. Except it's, I met you in 07. You met me in 07. That's right. You had just started working here the year before, I think. Yeah, two years before. Two yeah. years before. Yeah, it was CRS and Curb had a bus and Lee for like for Lee. And you that's were on right. there. And I was like, I don't know who this guy is, but I like him. Dude, that's so kind because I tell you that. Because you just hopped on the bus like you owned it. Of well, course, that you know, night, Philip though, style. That night was really special because it was really Doug Johnson yeah who had asked me to come down there and meet Lee and I'd and cowboy things I had written cowboy things mm-hmm. and I'd played it for Doug and he just down there just falling all over Lee about this song you know and I just couldn't believe there was somebody that excited about anything I've ever done and and <laughs> and, 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 they, and he was so kind and so you know, you think when you meet Doug, you're going to get a guy that's pretty complicated. Yeah. He's brilliant. Oh, he's great. But he is not like a lot of brilliant guys that just wear it on their sleeve. He is just like Santa Claus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doug Johnson is just the gift that keeps on giving. He texted yeah. me about a half an hour ago. Did he really? Yeah. Man, that's I wish so he'd text me right now. I just don't know when I'm going to get a text from him. How about text him and tell him to text me? Did you, did you text me? You text Philip. You tell Philip hi. He's in need. David said you texted him. He texted me for my email address. And I don't know why. Oh, Lord. Here I'm we go. I'm in trouble now. But anyway, he took me down there to Lee's bus, which is at C. Mays, or which was that it? CRS. CRS. Yeah. I don't know all those acronyms, but... Um, he he was on the bus and Lee, I, well, there's Lee Bryce sitting there. I said that's Lee Bryce, and <laughs> then I played that song and Lee said we got to write together, and that was that. And that was it, the start of it. That was it. Yeah. Yep. So it took Doug Johnson to introduce you to Lee. I I, I, I didn't know the story of how y'all met. I thought you knew each other from South Carolina. No, 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 no. Well, I didn't connect with Doug. I, I knew who he was, of course, yeah. but uh, and I knew. <clears throat> I mean, Doug really was. Very instrumental in all that. Nice. You know. How'd you get connected with Doug? 
<sighs> Probably Debbie Zavitson. Mm, that makes sense. Yeah, Debbie Zavitson. Because before that, I, and I feel bad, but uh, Russ and Debbie had a published company with uh, Leslie Thomasina, and they were just champions, man. They, of everything I did, and I just never got settled. You know, that's my fault, and I, I just, I don't think, you know, I didn't know what the game was. Yeah. And I'm still not sure I do, but um, <laughs> I do know that uh, they were very, very instrumental in making, uh, you know, a paving a way you know and debbie was really just a champion and still is man she's still right she's great. she she checks on me but i'm checking on her all the time because mm-hmm. she really is somebody that gets it and wants it to work and and blah blah okay. yeah so you touched on a song which the first time i heard you play it was in south carolina when we were doing that thing for the school for the arts down there and i bawled like a baby what um, the cowboy thing? Oh, oh gosh. man, hundred percent. Yeah, and you wrote. Can you can you please tell the <laughs> well the peeps how how that came uh, about? Because that's an amazing story too. Well, it's you know, and and I think when you think about songs and inspiration and all that stuff, we know what that is. I mean, yeah. we, you know, it flies by. You catch it. Can it can come you don't. from anywhere too, right? And and it can be not in keeping with what you know what. The, prompted it yeah you know and that's what happened here is i'm i'm literally tucking cooper my son in after you know he's six years old and he uh i'm, I'm tucking him in bed but the, the whole point of our conversation that day was he was, it was halloween and he had always been a cowboy mm-hmm. and this year he wanted some sheepskin chaps and i just said well, but dude i don't think they could make <laughs> sheepskin chaps. i just just out loud i said i don't think it's gonna happen but um you know, he said, Daddy, can we try? I said, Boo, that's the death nail. You know, oh, he, yeah. he said, Daddy, can we try? <sighs> and um, so, anyway, I said, Yeah, we can try. So, not literally, Walmart the next day, and um, Martha Grace got her little princess outfit, and she's back, loaded back up, and let's get on out of here, you know. And, and Cooper, <laughs> Cooper, I lost him. I just couldn't find him. And, uh, I, and I look around. And he's coming around the plungers, you know, on one of those end caps <laughs> stuck out in front of him. He's got this fuzzy toilet seat cover. Oh, yeah. And and it, I said, duh. You know, I just went, what a genius. And yeah. I said, we can just cut that down the middle and put That's some right. damn holes in it. And we got our little belt. And and I still have a picture of that. It is my favorite picture of all. And, and that's him in the in a toilet seat cover sheepskin chaps. hell yeah and uh and it worked and everybody loved it and mom everybody it's just his thing and i'm tucking him in that night and he just covered up just chocolate and cotton candy and his hair was all <laughs> sticky and he's laying there and i said cover you really look that was good and said, he said i know daddy that was great i love my chaps and everything else he said but you know what really is i said what he said Best stuff in the world, or the coolest stuff in the world is just cowboy things. God dang. Just laid it right out there for you. I mean, how much smarter was he than you right there? He's still yeah. drastically <laughs> smarter than I'll ever think about. But he, I literally went downstairs in the kitchen and wrote the thing. And it's kind of a different song, obviously. He's a, you know, it's a guy in a mirror, but it probably says he's in a nursing home. Yeah. But he's, you know, he's. He's reliving his past, you know, right there in the song, and I just and and I when I when I wrote that song, I had I didn't think it was good. Oh, really? Well, I just didn't know. I mean, you know, you, you start you can't trust yourself a lot. I mean, particularly when I'm sitting in a kitchen in Georgetown, South Carolina, that I'm I haven't been to Nashville, but you know, once or twice a year, mm-hmm. and. I didn't have much of a sounding board, you know. No. And it took somebody to hear me play it in it like in private. I don't remember who it was. It might have been Sean or somebody mm-hmm. or Paul Kraft. Yeah. I think I did. They said, "What is that?" <laughs> and I thought, well, it's just this little story I did, blah 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 blah, and I made up on the, and I think that's where it went. Yeah. And, and I and I just feel yeah. like I think that's the problem with all of us is we don't you know, I could have kept painting on that thing, and I was going to because the whole, you know, closes his eyes, all of that. Mm-hmm. That's the, the whole chorus. 
Yeah. And we sit and fight over choruses all oh, the time. Lord. You know, how long is this chorus? We don't have, we hadn't said enough. We had blah, 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 blah. <laughs> right. <clears throat> and it broke all his rules. Yeah. And I just said, I, I, I did wasn't like being brave or anything. I just said, somebody else liked that. And I'm going to stick with that. Mm-hmm. You know, like the other day, man, we were sitting there writing that song and, uh, that, um, with, you know, with Ira and those. And, yeah. And that yodel came in, and yeah. the, the air opened up when you get to that spot. Yeah, it it, it went to a certain place, and it found a home with a certain person. That I just think we forget those little odd musical things that that we leave laying around all the time. Yeah. We're trying to be too smart, too clever, too cool. And that's that's the thing about writing songs. Sometimes you don't have to be that clever. You you, you probably shouldn't be. Yeah. As much, and and you shouldn't have to try that much. I mean, you know, we we, I think we're pretty good at it. I mean, we're the, kind of the top of the game, and yeah. people, people, you know, say we're good at times. But but yeah, I'll put it like this: it's just, I just see people struggle over these things. I say, God, do you have any idea what really is going to matter? Yeah, it's going to be pretty damn simple. Yeah, it could be a yodel. Yeah, it could and, be just saying, and that's all that is. The sky is blue. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, and and because one thing I do know is you're not going to say anything that hasn't been said. No, no. So, yeah, and just saying something different can be a new cool way of saying it. You know, exactly. A different just perspective phrasing, on something. Just phrasing yeah. anything. But yeah. that song has been the the benchmark for me because now all of a sudden everybody thinks it's great, and everyone in the world has cut it. <clears throat> there are a lot of people have cut it. Yeah, Edwin. Edwin McCain is cutting it with Terry Clark, I think. I'm saying this out loud on a podcast so it'll seal it. (laughs) There you go. That is bananas. Put it out in that universe. Where did Terry Clark come in? Oh, he's buddies with her. And, uh, you know, she's been in Maya Sharp's world and all that. And he he and Maya are very close. No. And uh, I think Terry's got some connection there. And. And I don't know whatever circuit they were doing, whatever he just he just saw something, and but I don't know her, man. I'm so excited to meet her. I've never met yeah, her. I've met her a couple of times, but it just it, it was out of nowhere for me. It's like Edwin McCain and Terry Clark. I'm yeah, like, two things you wouldn't think would. <laughs> well, combo, you know, you I said, you said, I said the same thing. I said the same thing when I first hit me, and I go, no, nah, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, and because she's. You know, she's no slouch. No, I mean, no, she's sir. a badass. Yeah, she's really good. And I don't. I think you know Edwin's a badass, and neither one of them have quite had the accolades that you know you would think would come to them. One hundred percent haven't. Yeah, and that's that was the thing that made me make sure and make me feel like you know Edwin doesn't care. Yeah, he does not care where he goes in anybody's notebook. No, but he does care that he does it right, and he takes people along with him. Yeah, he's he's a it's just different talent, man. I was down there with him and Lee the other day, and and he, he was singing. It was me and Lee and Cody, the engineer, and yeah. Edwin in the studio, and <coughs> right. he was just in there. And Lee and I were like kids. <laughs> I mean, we're just looking at each other and. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. And Lee's just doing his Lee thing, you know, with his pudgy fingers, you know, whatever he does. <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. Pudgy fingers. How long, Sausage fingers. How long have you been at Curb? I don't know. How long Since 2012. 2012. Where were you before that? I don't, I had never signed a publishing you never, deal. This is I, your first publishing I had deal. worked with publishers that were kind of, you know, you know, carrot on a stick kind of thing, yeah. and um, I didn't really get a. You know, I just I, 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 <laughs> whatever. I don't know if that warrants that. <laughs> Felt right. Yeah, it's, it's, it fits. But uh, you know, Debbie and Russ were essentially my publisher for yeah. for a good while. Debbie and Russ and Leslie Thomasina, and they had a they they split because of just mechanics of something but it was not a big fallout but they they went different ways for other reasons but and then i kind of got lost in the shuffle in that and i wasn't didn't have a champion there anymore and really and truly it's that's that also sealed my deal about going into the real estate business because i said well okay 
you know, enough people told me you're going, you had enough of this music business stuff. You going to play music? What you doing? I said, you know, it's so so funny when people just beat you over the head about what you're doing. It's right. Yeah, the yeah. music business for so many people. You know, when you step out of the Nashville mindset, it just seems like such an unattainable goal. You know, you see like the American Idols and you know voices. Man. You know, but people are yeah. like. There's so many people think there's so much good talent out there, and it's so hard to crack that nut. But if you're not out there trying to crack the nut, you know, you ain't gonna crack any nuts you can't catch. You got to get out there yeah. and be a part of it. You know, you got to catch the nuts first. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And I think that's the thing, man. And 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 I definitely found out that if you're gonna be in the game, you better show up. You better be a part of it and commit to it and say you're one of them and be. And it's not for you to decide how this thing's going to change. You're going to be a part of the change. You just don't know how. No, you don't. And uh, that's that's the way I see it. But that's what happened to me is that it, I got kind of had a, a lull right there. And and after they broke up, and I said, well, this is how it goes in Nashville. And that's when I got the job. And But I do remember when I got my publishing deal. Uh I got a call from Tiffany Goss, and Tiffany was doing some admin stuff or whatever for for Curb, and uh, and she'd been a great friend. She had gone through the whole Rust Savitson thing too, and we mm. were friends there. And she said, um, she called me up. And she said, "Were you interested in a publishing deal?" And this is five years, man, since I'd even kind of smoked and been up here and bothered. And uh, I said, "Well, yeah." <laughs> I said, "What does that mean?" She said. Listen up for a call from Drew, you know, mm-hmm. and that was. Uh, I said, okay. I said, when's he calling? She said, probably tomorrow. <laughs> well, I am behind my house, and we were at the time we were in a, in a kind of a marsh area, and I had been scoping out this about an eight foot alligator that had been <laughs> run over by a car. <laughs> oh Jesus! It had been hit by a car, so his tail was a at a ninety degree angle to his body almost, and and he would lay under that dock. At the, at the pond is right near the beach, but there's a pond there, and he'd get under that dock. And, you know, he was threatening, man, you know, because he didn't eat a whole lot. And I said, so I, I, and they got me to dispatch him. <laughs> so I'm on a bicycle. And I'd been to the seeing, resume. I, uh, well, I've been looking, I've been seeing uh, alligator I instructor. I thought you knew this, man. I, I'm I on you, a bicycle. I've never heard this. I've never heard this. Really? No. Okay, good. So I'm on a bicycle. <laughs> And I mean, cell phones were not nearly as slimline. Yeah, this is probably pre uh, at the time. pre smartphone. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of close. I can't remember much about that part of it, but I can remember this. I can remember laying the gun, the the forearm of the gun, in my hand with the phone in it. <laughs> nice, because it was just like I could do it. It just sat there, and, mm-hmm. I, and I just had it wedged in there, and I was getting a beat on this thing because he had. He'd come out, and I was getting ready to. I was trying to find a spot that I knew the bullet wouldn't skip and do something stupid. Yeah, and and I'm sitting there, and it's a 308, and the phone rings. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I just said, uh, and I, I said, man, can you can you give me just one second? <laughs> he well, said, oh, hold sure, please. sure, I sure, gotta... sure. I went, <laughs> and he was gone, and he, and um, that was it. And he said, what was that? I said, uh, well, yeah, if you got to know. <laughs> and then I told him the story. What? Oh, that probably sealed the deal for Drew. What are you He's doing? Like, this guy's I, a I, bad shot ass. Dude, I never played a song for him. Yeah. Never played one song. Really? Uh, well, I think I possibly may still have not ever. But <laughs> Drew, Drew was great at being a, a collector of, of characters. Drew was great at that, and Drew enjoyed everybody in, the, around him, and he liked being in that game of, you know, punching you on the shoulder. Yeah, he wanted to be one of those guys, and he was. I mean, we when we were a big, like we were a fun team, you know, all of us. Mm-hmm. And but that, but that was how that started. And, yeah, and I, the alligator got him, you know, fished him out the next day. <laughs> Did you eat it? Um, I gave it to somebody yeah. that I think did. Yeah. I have eaten them. I'm, I'm, 
I'm a fan, but I'm not. I don't crave it. I enjoy gator. I enjoy it fried. I tried it smoked one time. But you could fry a hat. I mean, yeah. It's, <laughs> okay, you know. <laughs> you fry a carrot on a stick. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, but that's the thing, man. I just feel like, uh, you know, the the thing with Drew and all that, and and we we lost some, we've gained some, but. This has been a real. It's, it's, this whole thing has just been a life redeeming thing, you, and you don't know that. I mean, people that sit at home and go, "I want to do that," I'll just say, to you, "Get your ass up and do it," because mm-hmm. that's what happened. And because um, you you go through a lot of people just go, "I don't know if I'll ever be able to do anything like that." I said, "I didn't either." Yeah. Yeah. And you still spent a lot of time going back and forth from South Carolina. Um, what was it, about four, five years ago? You actually moved to Nashville full time? Yeah, six years. Six, six years. years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bought a house and redid it yourself, huh? Well. Yeah, Phil's also a home renovator. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, we. That's number seven we, if you're we, checking them all. Yeah. yeah, we've done a bunch of uh, houses, Rebecca and I did. You know, it's funny because that house is 1896. And somebody the one asked. Here? Yeah, 1896. And. Uh, so he said, "You got such an old house." I said, "Shit, this is the newest one I've ever <laughs> slept in, much less owned." And uh, it's it that is whole, the I mean, whole yeah. story behind that house is such a great story though, because like a hoarder. Now, how many magazines are in there? Thousands and thousands of newspapers and magazines, but they were kind of neatly stacked to the ceiling, and you had a. <laughs> Just yeah, it was a three-foot-wide you know? hallway. That, it's organized chaos in there. Oh, it was drop-dead the worst, nastiest thing I'd ever seen in my life, but it didn't look unsanitary. It just had this creepiness to it. And it was because she she had some mental illness and needed to not be in that. Because, I mean, it was raining on her in there. You yeah. know? It was not keeping her head dry. Yeah. And, and she ended up, um, you know, it got t- taken by the bank. Yeah, somebody else bought it, and he never he bought it as a as an investment. And um, when we got looking around, I just looked and I said I could do something with that one, and the, and because it, it was awful, but it had you know I could see it would work. You saw the bones, all the bones exactly, and uh, we just uh, bought it. You know, I called him up and said you know through, through a great realtor. Um, and uh, she she said you you should you should buy this one you could pull it off and I said okay and so I just offered offered him a percentage over what he paid for it and then they could say I know I had it and then we found out about the hoarder <laughs> oh you didn't even know about the hoarder yet. I you did not just, know about the hoarder because because oh, no. I mean it was I, I so you I'd never saw it. like the inside of the house or anything? I had done it no well I knew what I you know what the inside of a house is like and and I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I bought a number of properties with ever never seeing the inside of the house. Okay, yeah, it's all about you know. I, I know one thing about real estate is not it's not it's not what it's where, and yeah, and location, it was, it location, was, it location. Was where it was where it needed to be, and um, so so and and we were very surprised after we got in the house that it was okay and so yeah. you know, but um. No, he he had not even he didn't realize she was there. He had bought it, closed on it, and like bought a bunch of houses. So at he auction. thought she wasn't even living there, but had she no was. He had never gone inside the house. Wow. I would love to have that much money that I just buy stuff and don't ever look at it. Well, right? you know, dude, there was that period, man, when you could buy that house for. I think he, you know, he paid. She didn't even know someone bought the house. No, yeah. she didn't know, and 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 she was living in a car in the back. It, so it's just not. Anything about it was right, and I'm hoping she's housed and done well. But uh, she, it was it was ugly for a minute, and I just told him I said I'm not going to close until you get that straight. Yeah. <laughs> um, how many how many dumpsters did you fill? Oh God, we, with just the stuff inside I the house. I have stock in a dumpster company. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I probably was there like on their board six of or seven full dumpster loads. I'm talking about big long. Yeah. Tra- trailer dumpster loads. Yeah. Yes. Was it like six or seven of those? Easy. Yeah. Easy. So just easy. junk, not even like demo, construction debris. But well, when I finally got in the house and got my way through to see things, and, and there were these uh, geode, those you know, rocks, those rocks yeah. you know? And I gave them to Kelly Pickler, by the way. Did you? Yeah. And um, 
she uh but she collected them or somebody in her family collected them or something i don't know how long she'd even been there she she had them but i first one i looked at i thought a cow had come in there and taken a dump because <laughs> it was upside down <laughs> oh yeah and i said i'm not touching that that's the last thing i touched <laughs> that's <laughs> her spot <laughs> i said that's right exactly <clears throat> And I poked it with a stick. I said, "Okay, it's not what I thought it was." <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. It's been either been here a really long time, or yeah. Hopefully, it's how a rock. old is this woman? Yeah. But there was stuff like, um, um, it was sad, man. I, I hate to act like it's, but it's really bizarre because there was this flat, <laughs> like these flat, um, um, what do you call? It? It's like a collar for a fur coat, but it was the fur collar. Oh, that yeah. they'd add to a woman's coat. Yeah. Well, there must have been ten of those, and they were all faux fur, but they were sitting right outside the back door where the where the like these where the critters. washing. Yeah. They were smashed, looking wet <laughs> in the rain, and I thought, and there was, and she had like forty cats around there. Yeah. So it and could have been dead cats. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. I said, there's just a whole <laughs> bunch of dead cats. <laughs> so, and I'm going around looking at them. They had little plastic eyes. I said. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> what kind of cats are these? <laughs> it's just starting to a bad movie. It's, yeah. It was the whole thing, and we and we got. I got a Peter Paul and Mary uh, record out of it, signed by Peter Paul and Mary. Wow. Huh. Oh yeah, yeah, she had a bunch of vinyls, didn't she? Had a bunch of vinyls, and anyway, um, I, I I I wish I could help her more, but I don't. I can't. No. Yeah. She 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 she, I, she apparently pocketed a lot or didn't pocket or send some escrow account but um, probably going too deep here but anyway she uh, <laughs> we love our house and uh, it's beautiful house. we love you know you house. guys did an amazing job with that and just the whole layout and the way you just did it all and then and the whole backyard area too and philip built this uh outdoor kitchen oh, it's world not like any outdoor kitchen you've ever seen he called it the world headquarters it is world headquarters. i mean it's like a hodgepodge of different things, but all with super functionality and yeah, it looks like a gypsy wagon. He yeah, made a, it does. Uh, he made a grill out of a uh, Chevy three fifty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pancake. The, yeah, and then the old uh, pancake machine. Dennis, <laughs> what do you call it? Dennis headlamp. Or oh, what? it's not the headlamp. It's or the whole. It it's the overhead arm lamp. The big yeah, one. The arm it's lamp. Swivel lamp. You know. Yeah. And the guy was at the dump because I was man, I was frequenting the dump. You know, the, <laughs> the dump and I were very intimate. Yeah, you got, got a stock, stock in that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm on that board of directors, and, yeah. uh, and they board of dump I, directors. I'm out there, and this guy had this uh, like a '72 Ranchero man, and and I hadn't seen one, and you know, with the wood grain sides and the whole deal. And, he was pushing this damn lamp out of the back of his ranchero into the dumpster. I said, "Whoa, whoa what is that?" And he said, "It's my I'm I'm a dentist, and this is my dental light that I used in my exam room, and I'm retiring. I'm getting out of this deal." And I said, well, "Does it work?" <laughs> he says, "Well, it did when I left my office a minute ago." I said, "How about let's get this thing together?" And so I. Got it out of there and ended up with a little smaller one too. That's kind of cool. Oh, nice! But I just stuck that in there, and that became the most important thing in there. Almost. Oh I, yeah. I can pull it down and see anything. You know. Yeah. But um, one man's trash. Yeah, Phil, Philip uh, documents a lot of his uh, cooking on his Instagram, so it's definitely worth a follow. At least it's not only for the music, but definitely for the. The cooking. Yeah, what is it? Philip Lamons is my name. Philip, that's your, your handle? I think it is. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's Philip Lamons. Whatever went in there the day I got it. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. What do you got going on right now that you want to talk about? <clears throat> Man, I got this record that's coming out. Oh, Man, yeah. How'd the whole record thing come about? It's Well, that was that was Lee Bryce. Uh, he just turned and looked at me one day. We were in the studio, and I think we were writing. Or might, I don't even remember where it was. I just remember the look on his face. He said, you need to make a damn record. I said, man, I don't need to make a record. He said, oh, no, no, you need to make a record. Let's just do it. And I said, well, how's this going to look? And he started going down the line, and next thing I know, he's ordering you know, the stuff. Yeah. And, um, and it was like two or three days later, I got a call from Eggs. Uh, which you met eggs, I think. I know yeah, details. I have, yeah. 
Uh, anyway, Eggs calls me up and says, man, I sold my company, and I'm not going to work anymore. I said, really? He said, yeah, and I'm in Bath Pro Shop, and I just remember him saying, I said, what do you want to do? He said, I want to do something fun, like with you, like like make a record. <laughs> so why? I said, what? He said, yeah, I want to be like executive producer. <laughs> and I said, well, I got, I got a thought for you, because this just so happens that I have an executive producer that has expressed, expressed interest in this process, and how about if you're just consecutive executive producer? Consecutive executive. <laughs> and uh, he said, what does he do? I said, well, what he does is he, he writes checks and does not care if he gets his money back. He goes, yeah, sorry, sounds like me. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and and we went, and, and the, the, the highlights are you know sort of this, that I had a bunch of songs we had to pull together pretty quick, and then I had, um, you know, Lee was – Gracious, good God, everybody involved, and got the Klein brothers and their the skeleton crew, they're called, and um, they came and they were the band. But prior to that, Lee had this vision of, of really getting all the A list players in Nashville, and I just kept thinking, man, it's like you know, a damn giving a pig a wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm like, I can't, I'm not going to live up to that, and I'm not going to ever, ever be able to play what they're playing. Um, and so, you know, I said, yeah, how about we just get some kids in here? You know, and I had those guys, the Klein brothers that I'd done some work with, and I just, I'm crazy about them. And anyway, they, anyway, they came in, that thing just started going down, and then all of a sudden, out of the woodwork, Lee says, why don't I get so and so to get in here, and Billy Gibbons, and, Bam Tillis, and then of course Darius came in and sang on it, and it's just got a lot, lot way more bottom end to it than you'd ever think, and I just never thought I'd be doing that. That's yeah. awesome. Turned into called? a really special project for sure. It's cowboy things. Cowboy things. It's cowboy things, and of course it's the start off of it, and you know I'm doing all this Spotify stuff. All of a sudden, I had never even had a Spotify account, and I'm, I'm yeah, you're an artist now. Yeah. That's what I heard. Congratulations. That's what I heard. I'm, yeah, well, I'm not sure if that – I have to get like an earring or anything. I don't know how it works. We'll, we'll get that later for you. Okay. Maybe, maybe a nose yeah. ring. Nose ring. Yeah. Butt, butt ring. I've butt. got one of those at the house. Rebecca makes me wear every now and then. Just, oh, just a butt ring? Busy. Keeps me. No, 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 no. Oh, that's a butt plug. I oh. meant nose ring. <laughs> nose ring. <laughs> All right, now we've been, yeah, I included her in that conversation. I'd like to pull her back out if y'all don't mind. So Which, you, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I'm going to skip right over that for you. So you got this album out. Yeah. Are you doing something else that's pretty cool? That's, that's maybe coming oh, up? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The most cool thing ever, what is that? ever, ever is I just got invited to play the Opry. What? <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. You get, you get the extended clap. You got the extended clap. Wow. Dude, congratulations. Grand Ole Opry. That's I mean, awesome. Like, you got to be kind of a big deal to be invited yeah. to play the Grand Ole Opry. You do. Well, they don't I, just don't let any scrub up I've there. I've never been I, invited. Just getting, I'm just a finally getting to meet yeah. Vince Gill. So that's what I just, that's my thing about it. Mr. Liza Jane himself. Well, they had, they gave me like three or four dates and. And it said Vince Gill on this one. Well, you got to take that one. Oh, that's the one. I'm going. That's yeah. where I'm going. Because that's that on May third. May third. Grand Ole Opry in Nashville. Friday Tennessee. night, May third. Yeah, Nashville, Tennessee. So proud of you, man. And I'm your just, album comes out uh, the twenty eighth. The twenty eighth this month. Yeah, it really comes out the fifth technically, but of April. Oh, so the album isn't. Yeah. You're just doing the album release party just on doing the 28th. A party, yeah, yeah. So when but, is the full album release on Spotify? Uh, the fifth of April. April fifth. Yep. And then we're doing a party and we're doing a, another release party in uh, Georgetown, home. Okay. Nice. And um, it's it looks like it's building up steam. Everybody's coming. Looks. That's like. gonna be a party. Yeah. I think it's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be fun. Now I got. Um, I got uh, Nicole is going to go and play on that. She's going to be on the band. Nicole Witt. Witt, Witt yes. Yeah. Nicole Witt. I knew y'all know who that is. on her for a long time. Yeah, and uh, she's going to play fiddle and just 
piano or whatever one to have mm-hmm. uh, yeah she's just brilliant yeah. brilliant and i just can't wait to do this thing but um i i, I don't know how this is gonna all do or what i just have no idea just ride it son it's I, amazing I, yeah i mean I, i'd rather get invited to the opry than not <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> That's sort of way I see it. You know? That's very profound. Yeah. I like it. It's, it's like this guy told me one day. That's what he told me. He said, I said, man, you think you're cool because you hang around with these rich people? He said, would you let her hang around them or not? <laughs> I said, okay. I know, I know more poor people. It's easy. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, which is fine with me. Which is fine with yeah. me. Because um, I've... I can be there any time. Yeah. I mean, I've, been, I've been there a thousand times. Well, we'll put your stuff on our podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Please do. Your information, your, uh, as soon as a link comes up, we'll share that out to the masses of people That's right. that are listening right now. Yeah. Do you, Oh, by the way, who knows if you have to pay for those blue checks people get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think you got to pay yeah, for them. Yeah, you got you to pay Twitter for Twitter sure. now. And, and, and Instagram. And Instagram, yeah. yeah. They took mine away on Twitter. I didn't even ask for it, and it's, I've had it for 15 years or how long, however long Twitter's been like out. Eight, twelve dollars a month. I paying for it. You know, yeah, I don't care. Oh, that's silly. If somebody's yeah. dumb enough to get duped by somebody, that's that silly. That's I thought that was something. Somebody's like, "Hey, man, I got the blue stripe," and I said, "Okay, well, should I get one of those?" You know, no, it used to be mean something. Now it doesn't mean anything except yeah. for you paying for it. Oh, it really none of it means anything it, to me. I, I'm just kind of I mean, people were paying for it before, but it kind of <coughs> gave you some validity if you were, you know, a prominent figure in society. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm, but I'm, now you just have to pay to be prominent. Yeah. You should pay to be prominent. It used to be that that made you the real owner of that. Now, yeah. But. Oh, that's that's okay. Well, I'm glad it's not a thing then. So if you see any other people besides me, if you see me or Philip jump on your stuff or Colt, and we go, "Baby, hey, how you be? <laughs> I really love you." Message. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, talk yeah. A lot. It's not us. Yeah, the grammar's not that. Bad. Yeah. Well, I just think too the ones that think, "Hey." How are you today? Yeah, I get that one all the time. You know, my just, name's uh, my name's Bob. What's your name? Or, you know, Sybil. I've got it. Sybil. I put in my notes a canned thing that every time I get one of those, I pull that out and I'll send it straight to them. It's basically it's nice. Yeah. I'm saying I know that you're doing. I know that you can't feel good about what you're doing right now. Well, and basically at the end of it, saying and I hope God blesses your life. I hope you turn it around. Yeah, you say all that in your I canned message. I said all that in my canned message. I used to use a lot of words that mom wouldn't like but i was like why like two words like f off you think yeah, yeah you think they hear that a lot but you throw i did it one time and it was a real wrong number and the, <laughs> and, the and the guy hit me back is like man i don't know what somebody did to you but i'm sorry that's funny it that's was hilarious funny. it was good was I, you know i don't really care because I've, I've gotten where i don't i can't pay attention to it much <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't know. I mean, I, I do that bedhead thing, and that's just an accident. Yeah. And my daughter said, you ought to do this every now and then, Dad. And that's what I do. Yeah. And that's it. And I don't know. Those are fun. Yeah. 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 They're kind of different. I mean, yeah, nobody else is doing something like that. Well, all I'm doing is saying, well, I'm, I, it's funny because I've been watching uh, something <coughs> came up. My daughter came to me or somebody said, Dad, look at this. He starts showing me all the people drinking a uh, Drinking their cup of coffee right before they start talking. Good morning, good morning, and mm-hmm. that's the only thing I do. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. my only stick. Yeah, that's it. They drink the coffee for a second, and I just slurp it. Yeah, just well, it does. I like I like to drink coffee. Yeah, I do too. We got this coffee maker, dude. I just love our coffee maker. Yeah. Um, What's his name? <sighs> Diane. <laughs> <laughs> Diane. Yeah. Wow. Diane. And we, we have, a, we, you know, our our, our uh, little vacuum. You know, what is the vacuum cleaner? The one that rides the remote. Zoom, Zoom, Roomba. Zoom, Roomba. 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 Yeah. Her name's Dusty. You know. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. And of course, we have a cat named Onion. Yeah. It's only got nine toes. Uh, yeah. And nine toes, eight lefts. Yeah. Well, yeah. we did that. That's that's poetic license on the nine toes. Yeah, we did. I'm hoping, I think she still got all ten. We should if we if it thought songs a hit, we should cut one of them off. <laughs> well, we could, Jeez, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen a wheel of shame in your life? Um, no. How You're excited? About to. How excited are you to spin it? I'm just about to bust. That's are where you? I am. Oh. Well, check this out. What is this? It's high dollar stuff. 
Dude, y'all have you seen to... Wheel of Fortune? <coughs> yeah. The price is this right. This is like that, but like not that. It's a vertical wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared at all. I'm just okay. there you are. I'm, um, He's shaking a little bit. Well, I'm nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> Never Mostly. heard nauseous set like that. Mostly yeah. nauseous. Yeah. So I just, 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 just spin it. Just give it a spin. All right. Yeah. That's a good spin. That was yeah. a good spin. You flicked that like you've done that before. Well, this is... Uh, it's all in the wrist. It's, it's all in the wrist. You know, the whole, can, the whole candy apple the thing in the middle of it, your eyes, I think you're on Space Trek. What? Star Trek. It's what do you the thing. What do you get? Truth or drink? Truth or drink. Truth or drink. Truth or drink. I love that. Yeah. We don't know do what you have means. a lie or drink? <laughs> Can I have the drink and drink? I want a drink and drink. <laughs> Have you ever done smelling salts? Mm. Actually, yeah, yeah I've, I've been uh, knocked out before. Yeah, I've been yeah. knocked out before. I think. We oh, you know, you know how that happened. That was at the damn CMAs, watching Lindsay L. We were we were down at uh, what's the name of that? Damn, what, play it again. The oh, Luke Bryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His his little publishing house. Yeah, I was writing down there that day, and, and the girl that what's her name again? Remember her name either that runs it? Julie. Julie. Yeah. Uh, Julie uh, said, "Let's just get the hell out of here. Everybody quit writing. Let's yeah. go down to the thing." So we're down there, and I have a beer in my hand. It was hot as hell, and I just remember putting this beer to my mouth, and something went in it like a, a I thought it was a, a rock or something, even you know. And I didn't think anything about it. Next thing I know, lights out. Did you get drugged? No, it was a damn bee stung oh, my that's right. I remember that. of my mouth. I remember that's you talking right. about that. It was like wherever the adrenaline runs through there, he nailed it. Just boom. And, dude, I went down like just straight down. The, I had this tree to my back because I, I just kind of backed up against it. And I went down. Next thing I know is smelling salts and yeah. doing all that. And oh, shit. Yeah, it was no no picnic. That's bananas. It was no picnic, but all right. So pick check a your card, beer. any card. Just don't look at it. Don't look. Don't at look it. at it. Don't don't even think about it. Just pick it. Just yeah. now. Don't even look at it. <clears throat> Let's give it back to him. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, this is great. Oh yeah. Who is the most famous person or fame adjacent person who's made a move on you? David Tolliver. Mm, besides David Tolliver. Yeah. Besides David. <laughs> Besides David Tall, who's made a move on me? Yeah. Mm. Oh gosh, I didn't know that was coming. Um, I mean Lee has two probably. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Lee Bryce. Yeah. <laughs> Lee's, Lee's not a good one. Come on, <laughs> okay, man. Okay, all right. So, uh, I really don't know, man. I um, I can't. Do I have to say their name? Well, I mean, that's um, the point of the question. Okay, that's the point of the question. Do we know him? Um, this is Bailey Zimmerman. Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He tried to show you his Zimmerman. I can't remember what it was. It yeah. was just he just got a little too close. Did he? Close yeah. Did he rub your butt? Um, Did he like you more than a friend? I think that was me rubbing my butt. <laughs> <laughs> we got get them get them things down. Let him try that. Uh, Ooh. I'm rubbing my own butt. Dude, dude I haven't ever had that question asked, but I thought about it. All okay, right. so you get in trouble with that, wouldn't you? These are the atomic rhino smelling salts. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the lid off, <coughs> and you're going to want to hold it about chest high <coughs> and give it a good old. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it never it's disappoints. It's not what you expect, is it? <laughs> what does it smell like? Uh, in, uh, <laughs> it's uh, not often you feel, uh, I feel uh, at a loss for words. Well, <laughs> it's just one side of my... <laughs> he's trying I'm to get his soul sure. back in his body right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like... Um, yeah, it's... Is it, can y'all see inside my head? It's, it's still there. You can, it's not on fire. Of, you don't see anything going on up there. <laughs> Just check it. I do feel like it is, it's possibly a, um, it's, it's a new fragrance, really. It's, it's something that I was not prepared for. <laughs> That's Whoa. good. Whoa. Dude. 
Thank you so much for coming in here today. Dude, man. And talking to us. Well, thank you for giving me brain damage. <laughs> Both hemispheres. Just wake you up on the drive home. Y'all go check out Philip Lammons. Yeah. Wonderful artist now. Songwriter. <laughs> singer. Cowboy thing. A falconer. Chef. Home Fisherman. remodeler. Um, hoarder helper. Pretty good um, mom. Pretty good mom. <laughs> And he loves all things cowboy. He loves I the do cowboy, cowboy things. things. Man, we love you. I love you too, buddy. Happy to call you friend. And back at you. Where can they find us, Colt? Yes, you can find us on Facebook, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Podcast. We are available on all streaming platforms. Podcast. Rate, like, subscribe. Send money. All yeah. the money. We need Please, money. God. Please send money. Thank y'all. We'll see. You later. I've got the address if anybody needs it. <laughs> <laughs> I know a guy. <laughs> Dude, thanks for coming on. Yeah, and, uh, Love y'all. And when uh, more stuff comes out about the new project, we'll be sure and oh, blast man, it Oh, man, I appreciate that. That would be, that'd be fun. Yeah. All right. Y'all have a good day. Here we go. Bye-bye. Love you.